Today, we're going to be tackling our first pie on the channel. We're going with a steak and ale Stilton pie. One thing we won't be doing today is making our own pastry. I'm going to say that straight off the bat. I don't see a lot of points to it. I can make pastry. I don't want to make pastry. I can just as easily get some ready roll stuff or some blocks from the shops. And it saves a lot of time. It's a lot easier. And when you watch people like Jamie Oliver and stuff on the TV, half the time he says, don't bother making your own pastry. He's got ready roll pastry and stuff like that. So I ain't messing about today. We've got some ready roll puff pastry. That's what we'll be using for the pastry. So let's make a start on this. First thing we've got here is a nice big piece of braising steak. This is about 500 grams. Really big chunky piece of steak. We want to take this and we want to dice it up into about cubes that sort of size. So let's get this chopped up. I'm just going to chop this into strips and then I will just dice it up. You know, for braising steak, this is quite a nice piece of meat. Sometimes you get braising steak and it's really fatty and gristly, but this is actually a really nice piece of braising steak. So that's all chopped up. Just chuck in about a tablespoon of flour in there. And just mix the meat into that flour just to get it all coated. And just move that aside. Next we want to dice up an onion and there's clove of garlic. But before we do that, I want to get the pan heating up that we're going to be frying everything off in. I'm going to use my Dutch oven today. If you haven't got one of these, a frying pan with a lid or a wok or anything that you've got that you can fry your meat in, fry your onion in, then put a lid on later on, will be fine. I'm just going to put a drizzle of olive oil into my Dutch oven and just get that warming up. So while that heats up, we'll get this onion chopped. So that's the onion chopped, that's our garlic chopped. This oil's heating up, so the next thing we want to do is get this meat browned. So I'm just going to take the steak that we've cut in the flour and get that in here now. We want to get this all browned off. Once you've browned all that meat, just take that out. Put that to the side. Another little drizzle of oil in the pan, and it's time for our onions to go in. Just want to cook these onions through until they start to colour. If you've got stuff stuck to the bottom of your pan from the flour from when we fried our steak, don't worry about that. That'll all come up when we add some liquid in this and it'll just increase the flavours. Once that onion starts to colour up, add your garlic in there along with about a teaspoon of thyme. Get that a little mix together. Then we can bring the meat back, along with any juices that have come off in the bowl. To that we want a tablespoon of tomato puree, a little sprinkling of some parsley, about half a teaspoon, one beef stock cube, and then we want a full 500 milliliter bottle of ale. choose whatever sort of ale you want for this. I've got a bottle of Spitfire. Um, Nuki Brown's a good one for pies and stuff like that as well. There's many beers you can use for this. Give that a nice mix together. You can feel all the stuff that was stuck on the bottom of the pan now starting to come off. That's just going to really help the flavour of this. Well, give that a season with a little bit of salt and pepper. Then we want to bring this to the boil. Once that's come to the boil, turn that down, just give it a quick stir, cover it up, 
I'm going to leave that to simmer now for about an hour and a half until the meat's really nice and tender. That would be my CO2 alarm going off. Every time I cook with alcohol that happens, which is quite a good indicator that I've cooked all the alcohol off. So once this is cooked through for about an hour and a half and it's nice and tender, this wants to come off, we want to let it cool down before we put it into the pie. Now's a good time if you want to get any prep done for any sides or whatever you're doing with this. I was going to say with a bit of mashed potato and some vegetables, you can get out that done now as well. So right now it's two o'clock. This wants an hour and a half, so that's going to take us to half past three. It's going to want at least half an hour to cool down. So we'll come back at about four o'clock once I've took this off the heat and let it cool. So I cooked that for an hour and a half, took it off, put it in an empty bowl so it would cool down quicker. Left that for about half an hour and now we've got a nice mixture of steak and gravy. I'm going to take some of this ready rolled pastry and I'm going to pop that in my pie dish. The excess. I'm just going to use a little bit of this excess to patch up the gaps where it wasn't quite big enough. Just make sure I get that stuck on. So then we want to bring our filling back. So then we want to crumble about 75 grams of Stilton cheese into the steak and gravy mix. Just want to mix that in. Now would be a good time. Get your oven turned on to gas mark six. So we want to take a steak and cheese filling now and get that into our pie. Let's get all that in there. Spread it around. So we just want to take an egg. Just beat that. Then we just got to brush the egg all around the edges for when we put the top on so it's sealed. So then just want to take the other piece of pastry and lay that across the top. Again, just get this excess cut off. So we just want to go around the edges with a fork and just make sure this is all crimped together so it's sealed. Just want to make some holes in the middle of this, just going to use the fork to do that. Just to make sure that all the steam can escape and it doesn't blow up. And then if you want to now you can take a sharp knife and just score some patterns or something in the top. You can take the rest of this egg and give that a coating along the top if you want, just to make sure it goes extra nice and golden brown. Give it a nice egg wash. And that leaves us with one steak and ale and stilton pie ready for the oven. This is going to want about 40 minutes. Keep an eye on it. When the pastry is looking nice and golden and crispy, it should be about ready to come out. So I'm going to get this in the oven. There we go. That is our steak and ale and stilton pie, all finished. Let's see if we can get this out of here. And that is one beautiful steak and ale and stilton pie. You can really smell the stilton in that. Let's get this sliced up and give it a taste. This pastry is really nice and crumbly and flaky. Oh man, I think this is going to be pretty damn beautiful. Cheese smell is really strong from that Stilton. It's 
smells pretty amazing, I've got to say. So that just leaves tasting time. Try a bit of this steak first. Really tender. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. That is, oh, try another bit. Mmm. You can get like the cheese is really coming through, even on the little bits of steak. The steak's really nice and tender and soft and just melts in your mouth. Really nice flavour in the gravy there from the ale and the beef stock. Just cut a little bit off and try a bit of the pastry, eh? So that's probably one of the nicest pies I've ever eaten. I'll probably be doing some more pies on the channel in the future. I've actually got a really cool little gadget I want to show you as well for making pies with that I bought. It's like if you remember the old toasty makers where you put your bread in and pull it down. It's like that but for a pie. It's like it's crazy but honestly it makes really nice pies. I'll have to show you it one day. But for now I'm going to get this served up with some veg and some mashed potatoes and a little bit of gravy. This is going to be my dinner for the night. So I'm going to go. I'm gonna eat this.